What's good, producers? It's Curtis King at CurtisKingBeats.com here with another producer motivation 911. Producers, today is part two of our driving traffic to our websites and our beat store segment. Now, today we're going to talk about free traffic versus paid traffic. I'm going to tell you all the places that I accumulate my traffic, how I get my traffic from these free and paid sources, and I'm going to basically show you guys how to do the same thing. Now, my free sources include YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, SoundCloud, and blogging. My paid sources are SoundClick, Facebook ads, and Twitter ads. That's it. Now there's other things you can look into like the Google ads. I've heard really great things about those, but I don't particularly use all these different platforms. I try to keep it as simple as possible. I'm not here to throw you on a wild goose chase. I'm here to give you exactly what it is that I use. Now my basic principle when it comes to when I use free or when I use a paid advertisement, it comes down to this basic philosophy. Maximize the free. I basically use as many of the resources that I can that are free before I spend one dollar. I'm trying to maximize as many free sources as possible, as many free resources as possible I am trying to use. Now when it comes to the paid, I'm trying to put as little money as possible in the very beginning just so I can see where my dollar goes. So if the least amount of money I can put down is 10 to 15 to 20 bucks, I'm putting that down and I'm seeing where those numbers are. I'm seeing how that affects the plays, how that affects the actual traffic. Um, it's good to link up Google Analytics to your website just so you can get a really detailed perception and view of all the things that are happening on your website. But I spend the least amount of money on any website and I maximize upon the numbers and I say, okay, by spending this here, I'm seeing these particular beats are now moving up the play charts. And additionally, when it comes to paid advertisements, I use as little money as possible. When I see something working, I scale it. And from there, I invest more and more money in whatever makes sense. And if I'm seeing results and I'm actually profiting in that situation, then I'll keep it consistently going. Now, let's start with some of the free resources like YouTube. We're using YouTube right now. And there's many ways that I use YouTube to get so much free traffic. Now, one of those being the insert rapper type beat, Lil Wayne type beat, Jay-Z type beat, Bryson Tiller type beat. That is one way that generally gets me a lot of traffic without having to pay a dime for it. Um, another one is beat making videos. Anytime you're showing the process of you making a beat, you have to think that this is content that is very valuable to somebody who's just starting to make beats. If they've never made beats and never been around producers, guess what? You are their instructor when you're showing them how you are making your beat from scratch. I used to watch beat making videos when I first started from the very beginning. I used to watch those a lot. Album reviews. So if a new Chance the Rapper album comes out, coloring book, and you're sitting there putting a review, guess what? People watch those because they gain value from somebody else's perspective, especially somebody who does music. Um, another one is artist producer advice. Oh, like the artists and marketing videos that I do? Absolutely. It does generate a lot of free traffic in which people see the value in what I'm sharing with them. And from there, they want to go check out and see what else I have to offer. Now, another one could be tutorials. Now, if you're putting tutorials about how to slide your 808s or you're putting up tutorials about how to set up your MIDI controller, guess what? That is a value to so many different producers and you're going to gain so much free traffic without having to spend a dime. Now, you can also use resources like Google AdWord Planner, which will allow you to see what everybody is searching for because you basically want to put up content on your YouTube to utilize the free traffic. You want to put up great content that people are searching for. You want to look for the things they're searching for. Google AdWord Planner can tell you all of that. And no matter what, remember the first commitment that I asked of you guys, make sure your logo and your website follows everywhere you go. Any content that you have, I don't care where you're at, what it is, it needs to include at least your website URL. If you can include your logo, absolutely. But any content that you put on YouTube needs to have your logo. It needs to have your website. You need to include that because you're trying to drive traffic to your website after all. Now, when it comes to free traffic on Twitter, join the hashtags. Look at the trending topics and see how you can jump in the conversation. I've seen hashtags that I was like, yo, I'm a funny dude. I can contribute to this hashtag. And I will contribute all of these different 
tweets to this hashtag and then I'm seeing my follower list just go up and up and up and up. Now, this may necessarily get you the traffic of other artists, but if you're jumping into music topics, who knows? So I would suggest jumping into hashtags and finding a way to make it relate to what you're actually selling, which are beats and drum kits and all these things. So figure out ways to kind of leverage this free traffic, which comes from hashtags. Um, another one would be remixing viral videos. Now I did one where it was these kids at a middle school that were like, now watch me you, now watch me Superman. My singing voice is amazing, I know. I sampled them, I made a beat, showed my process, put it in the hashtag, and it was part of their trending topic. And guess what? Some of the parents from the actual viral video hit me up and were like, yo, this is amazing. I'm gonna share this video. As they're sharing this video, guess what happens? My brand and my website is going everywhere with it. Now, when it comes to Facebook, that's a whole nother game, but Facebook is very similar in that you can get so much free traffic by literally just being a participant in it. Now, one way that I gain a lot of traffic from my Facebook is one, including my website and my logo, but two, sharing videos that my people can relate to. When I say my people, I think about my fellow producers. Now, it may be a meme where guys saying relationship goals and it's him in the studio with his girl sleep on the couch. Now, that is something that your audience would love to look at, they would love to share, and they were gonna remember what source they got that from. Where did I get that from? Who is always presenting this great content? Oh yeah, that's so-and-so's Facebook. And naturally, that transitions them to saying, well, what else does he have on his website? I'm always hearing about it. I wanna actually hear his beats. Also, any video that I find is very successful on YouTube, I always syndicate it to my Facebook. When I say syndicate it, I basically upload it to my Facebook and basically let it live there. Now, the last thing that I want to cover when it comes to free traffic is blogging. Blogging is something that I've done for the last, I don't know how many years, but it's been great when it comes to getting free traffic and people are coming directly to my website because I'm blogging from my website. And what happens is when you put up content that relates to artists, specifically What's the difference between exclusive and leasing terms? Having that in a blog post and tagging it correctly, because what happens is Twitter posts last, I believe, three hours, Facebook posts last six hours, a blog post lasts a year. That being said, it's great to continue to blog because the more you blog, the more lifespan you have that somebody's gonna find a post from 2013 where you were talking about the difference between exclusives and leasing terms because it still applies to now and you have content that you have to do nothing for that's getting all this free traffic because people are getting all this valuable information from it. Now, other things to blog about, putting up music videos from popular artists is always something that gets a lot of free traffic. Putting up songs and albums and uh, album covers and track lists. These are things that people are constantly searching for within Google search, search engine. And by you providing that, now you become one of these blogs that is getting a lot of this free traffic because people are searching these artists out. Why not present that? Because artists are fans of other artists and they'll naturally come to your website because you have the content. If somebody goes on your website and they see, oh, he blogged the last chance to rapper video. Oh, and he also has beats. You know what? I keep coming to this website because he has great information and great content let me go check the beats out guess what now you're getting plays on beats that you wouldn't have gotten unless you paid for it also something that's great to blog about top 10 lists who's the top 10 rappers of this year what's the top 10 albums of this year those are great things to put up for content helpful tips for artists like the top 10 reasons you shouldn't spam on twitter these are things people are always searching for because they want to learn this information also putting up other producers beat videos people probably are asking well why would you put any content that attracts producers i'm trying to attract artists well why wouldn't you producers make a living at attracting artists fan base because they want to sell beats well the more producers you make a fan of what you're doing naturally you're going to have more artists who follow them because they're not just sharing content from producer to producer they're sharing content with their customer base and all of a sudden, now you're sharing their audience. All of a sudden, you have an artist that are fans of another producer that continues to repost and reblog and retweet, whatever. They're fans of you, and because they're fans of that producer, they're naturally gonna come check your stuff out as well. It's just by association. Now, to end everything out, let's cover the paid. Now, I do a balance of both, and I do believe that when you find a healthy marriage between the two, you'll save money, and you'll be very happy with the results. Now, when it comes to paid advertisement, I primarily run my money through SoundClick, 
Facebook and Twitter. Yes, SoundClick. People think SoundClick is dead. It is not. It still gets a hell of a lot of traffic, and it's more than enough reasons to look into it. Some things you can invest your money into. Banner ads is a huge one. Uh, front page spotlight. Promo song of the day. These are things that SoundClick offers you. You can put the bare minimum of 10 bucks, or you can go for the gusto and put as much money as you want. But like I said, use little money, scale it, see where the numbers go, see if it's even for you, and then continue to push forward from there. Facebook advertisement. I like to boost posts on my Facebook page that have already shown just an inkling that it could grow something really, really great. You could tell that usually within the first hour. If you look at a post and you're seeing that, yo, these likes are, are really pushing up. And sometimes even Facebook offers you advice where they say, yo, do you want to boost this ad? And I would absolutely, absolutely say boost that ad for 10 bucks, 20 bucks. Just get it to where you're getting new eyes and potential customers to what you're doing. Now you must set up your Facebook page to where when they first go to the Facebook page, it has that button at the top which is like a shop button or it's a visit this website button. Make sure you have that because you want to make sure people are going directly to your website. After all, we're trying to drive traffic. Same thing applies to Twitter ads. If I see a post where I put it up, maybe it's you know a, uh, a spiritual post or it's a very philosophical post or maybe it's that viral video that I told you about the no watch me you if I put that up and I'm seeing a lot of people are sharing it even like I have one that was a Kanye West remix of I miss the yo Kanye I made a remix of that and it started going crazy it started going viral and I looked at that and I said okay that's something that has a proof of concept I'm gonna now put 20 bucks towards it me putting 20 bucks towards it made that thing have hundreds and hundreds of retweets. I started getting all kind of traffic in the week that I was promoting it because I was paying attention to that after all. You must pay attention before you start putting all that money everywhere. And I started seeing, yo, this is driving traffic. Why? Because when they go to download this song, all you see is CurtisKingBeats.com. All you see is different opportunities, my logo. All you see is different opportunities for you to download and for you to go to my website to hear more. People were even asking like, man, where can I find that beat that you use to remix this Kanye song? CurtisKingBeats.com. So in conclusion, use all your free resources. Use them to your best of your ability. Find everything that you can, any information that you can about SEO and things that can really build up just free content. And when you transition to paid advertisement, use as little money as possible in the very beginning, see what's working, scale that mug all the way up. Now that's my particular philosophy when it comes to getting free traffic versus paid traffic. In the next segment, which is part three, we're gonna be talking about posting native content. We're gonna talk about how to post. We're gonna talk about what exactly you should be putting down and how you should be using these different social networks to leverage them and to get you traffic and get you quality traffic. These are my thoughts. I would love to hear your thoughts about getting traffic and driving traffic and free sources. Maybe I missed out on some free sources. Maybe I missed out on some paid sources. Share within the community. Please like, share, comment. Once again, this is another producer motivation 911, Curtis King of CurtisKingBeats.com.